you know, I didn't think much of the Utah Jazz this season. I didn't, I didn't think, you know, that things would be going the way that they're going right now. Here we are, about a month or so into the season, you know, about two months into the season, give or take. Now, Donovan Mitchell has leading this Utah Jazz team to the best record of the West. What does this mean for the Jazz right now? I'll tell you what it means. It means that this team could make a deep run. This team could make a deep run. Donovan Mitchell has been unselfish with the ball. He's got a really good barrier ball. He's got Bojan. Bogdanovic. I'm, 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 or y'all, y'all correct me. You know when I when I try to say Bohan's you know last name, you know correctly. Uh, I mean, there's just all sorts of guys on this Utah Jazz team that you know make a really good roster, and it's very similar to the Lakers team that won it all last year. A very good, you know. You know, they got some guys that look very key, but then you got some sleepers. You got some heavy hitters that are sleepers. You know, you know, Derek, Derek Favors, Mike Conley Jr., Azbika, you know, I mean, come on. This Jazz team may be legit. And hopefully they get some more, you know, prime time opportunities because uh, it's uh, not going to lie. Hard to see the Jazz every night, you know. You know, it's hard to see the Jazz every night when the NBA doesn't push, you know, the Jazz instead of, you know, pushing LeBron every night, you know, talking about LeBron James and the Lakers every day at every hour at every second, and that's kind of annoying, you know. It's kind of annoying to watch the NBA right now, you know, without, you know, oh, well, here's the Nets, or here's something about LeBron. But, 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 what about my Dallas Mavericks? What about Mark Cuban? What has he done? He has said, you know, he's come out and said the National Anthem has not been played at any game this season. And it won't happen in the future for Dallas Mavericks home games. Personally, I don't care. <laughs> I honestly do not care. Like, every time I see on the TV screen, you know, talking about, you know, the National Anthem, when it starts playing and stuff like that, I just turn the TV I just turned, you know, my laptop down, turned the volume down, turned my TV off, turn, you know, just go do something else for like the five minutes until, you know, we actually get to game time because I literally do not care. This really shouldn't even be an issue, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, you know, you know, the integrity of the national anthem, the integrity of America. Calm down. It's just a song. I, I don't really get it. Definitely in my national anthem. Oh, and somebody's gonna be like, "Well, you're not an American. You're not patriotic." Blah blah blah. It's, again, it's just a song. It really doesn't matter. And uh, I know, I know, some people were joking like, "Hey, um, ever even is even American?" So I mean, it doesn't matter. Again, doesn't matter. You know about you know the national anthem being played or not. It just is what it is. I don't care. It has no effect on the team. The team needs to improve. That's what the Dallas Mavericks need to do is to start winning games more frequently. That, all that doesn't matter. Speaking of the team that we talked about last with the Golden State Warriors, they'll be taking on the Nets on Saturday. Now, I know that the Warriors played the Mavs like three times in like three days or something like that. And they, they had to you know, stay in Texas for a couple, you know, a couple, a couple more days afterwards. But, uh, yeah, Golden State's a pretty interesting team right now, you know. And, of course, the Nets are the Nets. Can't seem to escape talking about them. There's also some Sunday games involving the Mavs, you know, taking on the Blazers. You know, wonder how the Blazers are doing and the Nuggets, Lakers on Sunday night. But, you know, I wonder how the Nuggets and the Blazers are doing right now. I know they're doing all right, you know. As far as you know, the conferences and stuff like that, and the way the standings are right now, I know they're both doing okay, but they could be a little bit better. And of course, the Lakers are the Lakers, the Nets are the Nets. The narratives are going to keep being pushed there, you know. But as we keep going along, you know, it's it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be one hell of a you know uh, time until we get to the All Star break. And speaking of the All Star. 
break. It seems like we're heading towards the all-star game being played in Atlanta again. You know, we talked about this last week. Talk about I think I talked about this the week before. We're we're heading towards it anyway, even though mostly you know all the players don't seem to like the idea. You know, there's there's really no point in playing it. It it doesn't matter. All star games do not matter. <laughs> and they never mean anything. Like they they really don't. Like every time like every time the all star game happens, it's like skip, skip. Just skip the skills competition, skip the rookie, you know, showcase, skip all that nonsense. It's nothing to me anymore. Back in the day, maybe I'd be like, yeah, this is, yeah, the All-Star game, the All-Star game is lit. But now it's like, no, I, I'm, can, can we go to the playoffs already? Can we skip to the playoffs? Time skip to the playoffs. But yeah, that'll do it, everybody. See ya.